Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this letter H logo in the most effortless way in Adobe Illustrator by running two free scripts and you can find the links in the description and the lot the scripts for absolutely free, no registration required. So let's start with a new document. I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080 and first of all let's show the grid. Control quote command quote on your Mac and then control shift quote command shift quote to snap to the grid. You can also find these options here. View, snap to the grid and hide and show grid as you can see. So grab the ellipse or click L and create an ellipse at the size of 60 pixels, both width and height. So I'm gonna just fill this square here. So uh, swap fill and stroke and set the stroke to black. Then grab your circle and holding Alt key and Shift key, move it to the bottom like so. So this circle should be tangent. And then uh, Ctrl T, Command T to repeat the separation. So I have three circles in columns. And next I'm gonna duplicate these columns, moving this with holding Alt or Option key, and then move it again. You can possibly run the Ctrl T, Command D again. So we have our favorite circular grid. And let's select these two guys and run the metaball. Go to the file, scripts, and run the metaball arc. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to install your scripts. You can, uh, you need to place them on the presets, then an auth, and then scripts. So in Adobe Illustrator installation. So let's run this metaball arc. And we have this center angle, we need to set it to 50. Check preview and click OK. Now delete this middleman and we handle so-called Cassini oval. But we also need to run another script. So skip these two guys selected, go to the file, script and find this common tangent script. Again, you can download the whole pack of the scripts, 20 of them, no registration required, at the, on the page of the author of the script. So I highly encourage to use the scripts, they can save you a lot of time. So common tangents create you a tangent line, so they combine the sides of your circles at different angles. As you can see we have two diagonal lines and two straight lines that combine the sides of our circles. And we need to delete, of course, these straight lines. And guys, now I'm gonna speed up my tutorial and repeat the same operation with my right circles. So I have this design and I can delete also these two guys in the center, leaving only the most central circle in my composition. So, select these two. We need to combine them into the Cassini logo. Go to the Pathfinder. You can find the Pathfinder here, Windows Pathfinder, here. Or you can find them on the new properties panel. And click on the first command, Unite. You see. The same here, select these two guys, select these two guys, and bam, we have two Cassini ovals, and let's select them all with diagonal lines, you see, diagonal lines are selected, go to the Shape Builder tool, Shift M on your keyboard, and select these two, so we need to divide this on so I'm going to drag a marquee, combine this and this as well. And last but not least, we need to give them a gradient. And I'm going to bring up my gradient panel. So go to the Windows, Gradient, 
Control F9 on your keyboard. So and I'm gonna simply wrap the color from this image. So I have these guys here, I have these guys here, and I have here and here as well. So let's take a look what we have here with our gradients. First of all, we need to align them properly. So grab the gradient tool and I am gonna align them from bottom right to top left. You see it here. So the darkest color is here, right below the top part, the top part here. The same here, you see. So once we have our final composition, let's take a look on our gradient. So we have three gradient stops and I also add the gradient stop at the position of nearly 40 percentages, uh, 40 percent. So my first color, the most left at the position of bottom right, I have 0, 0, 16, 6, uh, 0, 0, 6, 1, 7, f At the position of 40 degrees, I have 3, 8, 8, 6, b3. And at the position of top left, I have 3, 0, uh, sorry guys, 0, 0, 0, 8, 2, a. Okay. And let's take a look on the top part. So here I have a very similar gradient. So let's take a look on this. I have at the position of zero degrees, I have the same 0, 0, 0, 8 to A. At the position of 80 degrees, of uh, sorry, of 40 degrees, I have 2 C, A, F, F5. And at the position of 100 degrees, I have 00617F, just like so. And with this circle, I have, I believe, this uh, gradient, but it's slightly desaturated. You can go to the Recolor Artwork Tools this, um, icon on the top of the Tools panel and just uh, decrease the brightness and do just decrease the brightness and saturation a bit like so so guys again you can give them as many colors as you wish just log this layers and go here 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 and here so um make up your own mind last but not least grab the title i have this title at open sans light 85 points and my tagline that is roughly 16 uh, pixels i believe it was uh, 16 pixels but uh, when i um uh, when i bring uh, this uh, here on this artboard i also resize it a bit so this is your design for today i hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to visit vitorials.net for latest tutorials on adobe illustrator and graphic designer and as always guys do not forget to share this tutorial with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day.